Hi everyone, the topic for today's uh, lecture is the introduction to non-parametric or local density estimation method estimation method So in our previous lecture, two kinds of the global parametric density estimation approaches, uh, the maximum likelihood estimation and the Bayesian parameter estimation has been discussed. And the general process uh, we can draw uh, like this. First, we have the data to classify. Uh, also, we call this the training data. And according to our density function, uh, uh, we can um, put, we can calculate their probability accor according to the Bayesian rules, and then we can uh, classify this data. However, in real practice, we often cannot assume a, a parametric form for the density function. So it looks like uh, this is a black box, and we don't know how uh, the explicit density function is. So in order to apply the likelihood ratio test, we have to estimate the density function using an unstructured approach. So this approach we called it non-parametric estimation. Uh, also, we can call it a local uh, as the local density estimation. So this type of approach, uh, it, the density function is estimated locally by a small number of neighboring points. Although the local estimation is less reliable with larger bias and variance than the parametric density estimation, sometimes it still can give us an unacceptable classification results. So this is what uh, we concern most. Therefore, the evaluation for non-parametric density estimation is whether or how good it can help us to classify uh, the data into different categories. So in the following way, we will uh, discuss the, introduce the basic pr principle of the local density estimation. So here we assume x uh, arrow is, uh, is a sample vector in uh, a feature, in an n-dimensional feature of region Rn. Uh, and uh, the row x arrow is the uh, n-known density function. So uh, the probability of the probability of x belong to the R the region R uh, we use uh, P to present to represent this probability is you can read like this the int integral form like this. So we can see uh, P is the average is the average of the density function value in the volume of in the volume of R. So it's the average of density function. Um, suppose that uh, we have 
x1 and dot dot uh, x n are drawn independently and identically distribution according to the prob um, according to the probability density function of rho x uh, we can uh, write the p the probability of x belong or within belong to r uh, approximate to the number of samples inside R divided by the total number of the training data N. So we can draw a picture like this. Uh, if this is the, uh, for example, this is the R2 feature space, and we have a lot of samples. We have a lot of samples here and we have several regions so this is an R0, R1 R2, something like this if we want to uh, know the probability x belong to R1 we can count the number of samples inside R1 divided by the total number of samples m then we, uh, we can use this equation to represent this probability and we call this equation uh, 2 and this is equation 1 <coughs> so next next uh, we have uh, we assume that if the row x is continuous if the row x is continuous and then the region of r is small enough that the row x doesn't vary very much within it so we can write we can continue to write the equation like this so the integral r rho x arrow dx arrow uh, approximate to rho x uh, v v is the volume v is the volume of the region R. So we can call this equation 3. So now if we combine uh, these three equations 1, 2 and 3 we can get we can get approximately uh, from rho x uh, approximate to number of samples divided by the the total number of samples uh, the number of sam samples in R divided by the total number N and then divided by the volume of R and in the following we can use we use the K to represent the number of samples in R then so the equation can write in this way so there are some interesting uh, observations for this equation uh, first if we fix first if we fix the some observations if we fix the volume of R and uh, increase the number of N uh, that means we have take more and more training samples then the ratio of K divided by N will converge in probability uh, in will converge to the real probability we desired but we only have obtained an uh, estimate of the space average value of rho x that means rho x uh, equal to the probability x uh, belong to r and divided by v and then use the integral from rho x